Hello there folks and welcome back to our Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Robertson. Today it is time for part 41 of Season 2 of the Career Mode Playthrough. Today it is time for the start of our Fuwa Group or Fu Hua Group. Fu, Fu, Fu Hua Group. That's what we're going to go with. We're just going to call it the China Open. That is probably a little bit easier. And we start our adventure at Round 2 against... Joe Perry in this tournament. Now, in the first round, we went and beat Rory McLeod by three frames. So it was a fairly easy win. But today, we've got to focus on the game um, against Joe Perry. Now, for you guys who didn't watch the previous episode, I massively recommend you go and do so. But unfortunately, we succumbed to a defeat in the Gibraltar Open final by three frames to two against Satnav Selby, meaning that, yes, we got to the final, but unfortunately, um, we didn't finish it. But we're on a really good run at the moment. In the last three tournaments we played, we got to the final of the Gibraltar Open, the semis of the Coral Players Championship, and we, of course, we won um, the snooker shootout. But Joe Perry, a player we've just played against once. We beat him by three frames winning last year's Welsh show. So now I need to get a graphic on the screen to show um, our victory against him there. But as you can see, um, the rankings really aren't in our favour, but... This tournament, the China Open, is the second most lucrative tournament of the season. A prize pot of £250,000 for the winner. If we win this tournament, we go up to, to seventh place. And just think about it. If we won this in the World Champs, that's seven hundred and fifty grand, And that can put us, you know, as high as third. And who knows, after the two year two years rankings change, it could, it could all be up in the air. So these two tournaments are massive for us. It can go brilliantly one way. We can be up into the top five, potentially in the Million Pound Club. Um... But at the same time, I'd actually think we'll all be because we've earned surely more than 180,000 this year. So that wouldn't really work. Uh, no, yeah, we've, we've probably earned more than 180,000. So we wouldn't be in the million pattern club in the two year rankings anyway. But if this doesn't go well and the likes of Bingham, Maguire, and Gilbert do well in the world champs, which could happen, could potentially happen, and um, we could be sli sliding potentially, not quite out of the top 16. But I suppose you just never know. But today, let's focus on the game against Joe Perry. It's the penultimate tournament of the season here in China and as I said it's a really lucrative tournament so quite a tricky match to start with I'd argue um, quite a tricky second round draw in this fast 32 against Joe Perry but we're going to try our best see how we get on and uh, hopefully have a good result at this tournament as I've said before we're doing very well at the moment so I would love to carry on this form and just to thank you for you guys you uh, really seem to be enjoying the series as always which is great getting a lot of good comments saying you guys are really enjoying things and Liking the series, which is brilliant. I'm really enjoying snooker at the moment. And that mutual interest is really fantastic to see. So, here we go for the match against Joe Perry. We'll beat him, as I said, once uh, in our history against playing him at the Welsh Open last year. And hopefully, it is a similar result today. But it's Mr Perry, not from Aerosmith. Mr Perry, the snooker player, who is going to break off. And I'll tell you something, Joe Perry's likeness is far better than uh, Neil Robertson's likeness in this game. Not the best break-off, though, from Joe Perry. Does leave uh, a potential opportunity. But uh, I have to say, it's not that brilliant. So uh, he's not done too badly there at all. Can't criticise too much. I didn't think that was going to hit the red, to be honest. We might have just got away with it, though, actually. I think we have. Unless he wants to play that red. But that was quite a poor shot now. We haven't got away with it. But where's that red? Oh, it's just about in. Not the best start from us there. It didn't seem the best break-off from Joe Perry, to be honest. Left a few opportunities. But he was saved by the colours. And uh, we couldn't get to a pot, so... We had to play a thin safety, just about hit the red, and if you have a kiss on a red on the way back, it's usually pretty damaging. So it's Joe Perry who's got the chance to get first blood in this match. But I'd be interested to hear at this stage, folks, whether you'd like to be, see a season three of the series. Um, I think there's, there's good potential for a season three, to be honest, because the way we're going, season three could be a real development season, particularly if this, uh, if these few tournaments go well. Really uh, start to assert some sort of, uh, not not dominance, but start to win more regular tournaments. Because that's what we seem to be doing at the moment. Um, at least getting in the frame anyway. And hopefully we'll win the odd tournament. We'd love to live at, uh, win at least this one or the World Champs. Of course, the World Champs would be absolutely massive. But to do well in this tournament as well would be brilliant. As I said, it's a really lucrative one. So well worth going for. 
of course, not happening in real life this year because of the coronavirus. Ooh, that's end of break. That's a shame for Joe Perry. He was off to a good start, but unfortunately that's end of break. So we can't do it at this visit. But that's a pretty nice shot, that. That red will cover the pocket, so unless we want to play a fancy plant, which personally I don't fancy. We're uh, going to have to just leave it for now, unfortunately. And he's played a really good shot here because we're going to struggle to get safety. So, really good shot from Perry here. So, my aim is... is just play this soft and get him behind that red. Because if we played that onto the cushion, obviously, um, he'd be able to pop the red. But, I think that's okay. But where... Can that red go to? It's too high, unfortunately. One. Too soft. And we're not playing our best game so far. Joe Perry is all over us. Six. It's only a best of five here. I think that fear of knowing that if we make a mistake in a game, it might well be our last match before the world champs. That's a bit frightening. Yeah. Knowing that this season has gone really quick. It's not been the best season for us. I mean, by no shadow of a doubt. The second half of the season has been far better than this than the first half of the season. Oh, that was lucky with the cue ball. Goodness me. I mean, we've won the shootouts. I've just shown you guys. We've done very well in some tournaments recently. We're on a good run. So I think that's enough proof to say we've been doing well. But if we crashed out of this tournament today and... You know, we went into the World Champs in the next episode. It would put the frighteners on a little bit because I'm expecting a bit of a long run in this in this tournament. It's going to be a tough game to get through against Joe Perry. But at the same token, we did very well in Gibraltar. We beat Bingham, we beat O'Sullivan, uh, we beat Mark Williams. And yes, we very nearly beat Mark Selby. So, I mean, Joe Perry's a very good player. But we should be looking to beat Joe Perry today. Especially if we want to realise our ambitions of being a serious player. One that... Uh, is going to be in top six, top five, rather than eleventh, where we are at the moment. Robertson doing a lot better in real life, up in second, just behind Judd Trump. And I think if we keep going, keep persevering, we can get to that. But it's it's going to be a a long process ultimately because we're a long way behind the top guys, and we've got to start winning tournaments. You know, we're playing well, that's great, but ultimately. All we've won in terms of ranking events this year is the shootout. So, you know, that, that's not really good enough for someone who wants to be up in the top eight. But as you can probably figure, Joe Perry is the person to take this first frame. We've not really been on our game so far and Joe Perry simply took advantage. So we've got to be more awake in the next frame, more aware. And as I always say in these best of fives, the first and second frame are crucial. And this second frame now massive to us. It's a good split of the two reds. A little bit of a tight angle to the middle pocket, but he's got it sewn up just fine. Joe Perry and now I've not heard of much in the game. Again, I think the the uh, algorithm and the codes and the scripts or whatever are all coded really for the sort of top players to win the top six and top eight. A bit unfortunate that uh, he missed that there because he could have gone on a made of clearance, but we have conceded the frame. Again, 81 behind with 35 remaining. Seems silly to play on. <laughs> Need only, what, about something like, I don't know, 16 snookers or something. So, a little bit daft to play on. But anyway, it's ourselves to break. One thing we're usually pretty good at is the break-off. And that's not bad at all. Need to win this frame. But a massive match at last 32 stage. Has to be said. I was a bit shocked when the draw came out. This, though, one that we must pot, so I'm going to wear on the side of caution here. That was a good safety shot. Nice stuff. Again, we could have gone for the pot there, gone really aggressive, and if it had gone in, we'd be laughing. We'd have had the 
all the balls open to us, but you know, we didn't, and that's the way it is. Because if we'd have missed, well, it could have been 2-0 to Perry, and things get a lot harder from there, but it's a great safety from Perry, force us to go into this pack. But uh, we've got it covered, and that could be very nice. Great shot. This is Joe Perry now, the player under pressure. He played a good safety before, but we got out of that by playing a good shot, and uh, he's left an opportunity here. Well, he's left half a chance. A little bit awkward, the black out of bounds for the moment. Particularly with that red behind it. It's going to be pretty tricky to get that red out of the way, actually. Hmm. Because it won't get to either pocket. So, we're going to have to move that red at some point. But for now, we're just going to have to play for the blue. Long pop, right up his street. Because the pink is tied up as well. So that makes things a little bit more complex. Six. So in some ways, Joe Perry's got away with that a little bit. He's playing for the right corner here. Excellent shot. But just to get some practice oh, in, just get some comfortability shot. around the table. Seven. That's important. Pink won't go, I was just checking that. You never know, do you? Yellow just allows a little bit more comfort... Uh, I'm going to say comfortability again. Assurance in position with that yellow. You can screw back straight away. It just makes position a little bit easier. Again, it's a bit of a long pot of terms, but... I'd rather have that than be at close quarters and things be a bit awkward, so this should be okay, which it is, and it just moves the blue out of the way. So that'll be a good opportunity for the next red, but obviously that's not what we're looking at yet, so we've got a bit of a pickle on here. What do we go for? What I think I am going to go for is just to play behind this yellow. I thought I hadn't hit it then. I got a bit weird and worried at the fact that it was quite quiet. But uh, he's hit the reds. So now foul. And I'll tell you something. He has got away with it. Hmm. I'd love to know what potting chance he's left. And it depends how much you value your chances ultimately. So it could be Joe Perry with the advantage here, you know. I'm going to try and get it to, into a similar position as before. Mm, it's not the best safety though. Not the best at all. So the table seems to be playing for Joe Perry at the moment, unfortunately. We're not getting the rub of the green. Two shots where he could have smashed the red open, the reds open, but didn't happen. But for once, he doesn't get the rub of the green. He misses the red. Misses the pot. It would have been a shame, to be honest, from there for him to get the opportunity to clear clear up. One. But now that uh, we have got the position, it makes things a little bit easier. And we need this frame. Into the left Just puts enormous amounts of pressure on if we go and lose this frame. Obviously it means we have to play decider. Be no option. There'd be no buyout clue, no buyout clause. Let's play into these reds. Get him moving a little bit. Hmm. Didn't work again. We're just not getting the rub of the green. Eight. Very frustrating. Touching ball. They better look if the black went. And there is a gap, but it's a tight pot. It is tight. Mm. Well, it's all going wrong today, isn't it? Maybe a little bit silly to play that, but it was out of frustration. I think that shot was a little bit. But this is certainly not form you'd expect for someone who just made a final. I think, personally, we're just not getting the look at the moment. 
But that is a howler from Joe Perry. It's almost like he wants to give us a chance. Amazing miss. Really is. But another red potted. We can't give him another chance. Really can't in this frame. We've got to make him suffer now. Got to make him frustrated. Make him the angry one. But I think we've still got a good chance in this game. If we go and win this frame, go and win it with some, some conviction, then, yeah, I think we've got a pretty strong chance. So let's see how we go. So blue will go to the top here. And then the balls are actually pretty nicely laid out. They're uh, all okay. Those, those three down the bottom of the table um, on the black cushion are a little bit of an issue. I'd say probably like really only the two of those are an issue to be fair. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. But we'll deal with those when we come to it. And in it goes. Absolutely fine for the moment. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. Fourteen. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I was gonna play the ping, but we're not really straight on it to be honest. It's a little bit of a poor shot from us there. So blue it is, and this is a risk. Not our day at the moment. Really isn't. I don't know what's happening. And I said don't give Joe Perry another chance. And I think he'll take this. Really not our day at the moment. Not picking our shots well. Not getting anything right. Got to hope that Joe Perry doesn't take this chance. But if he does, it'll be a real kick up the backside if we want to stay in this competition. I said it'd be a tough game, and fair enough to Joe Perry if he picks up the pieces, but it has to be said we've been pretty awful so far. Just need to wake up. Nine. This is the sort of match in the World Champs we could be playing. We can't say, well, Joe Perry's a tough opponent, because he is an opponent we could well face in the last 32 of the, uh, the World Champs. 50. Obviously, he's got to qualify for it, because he's not in the top 16. But I would guess he will get there. Twenty-two. Or will it be our old nemesis? We're playing the last thirty-two. Yan Bing Tao. I don't think we've played against him for a long while now. Yan Bing Tao. Eh? Hate playing against Bing Tao. He's just a complete bogey player for us and he's a great player but we just never seem to be able to beat Bing Tao but of course the focus is on Joe Perry he's onto the colours now 7 ahead and there's 27 left on the table so he's 12 ahead with 27 left it's just a few more pots and uh, he goes 2-0 up and there you go so it's 2-0 to Joe Perry we need to wake up or else this is just going to sum up the story of the season. We get some momentum, we start playing well, and then it all goes to pot. No pun intended. But with that break of 70, it's 2-0 to Perry. And he's just one away from the last 16. Hmm, well, isn't this interesting? I really thought we were on good form. But it's not all over yet. We can't get defeatist. We've just got to win the next three frames. We've got to pretend it's like this match has started all over again. Thank you. The third frame. Joe Perry to break. And it's a decent opportunity from the break off. Yes, he's taking the pot on. That's a good pop, but where's the cue ball? It's okay. One. Breathe for a sigh of relief. Try and get on this red. It'll be a tricky bit of queuing action. But it's the only way we could get on the red, so. See how we get on. It's there. 
That's a good position for the black. As I said, we've got to wake up now. Nine. I don't mind if we knock this red on, but we're too close to it, really. Mm. That's a shame. It's a good start to the frame, though. Can't argue too much at that. The cue ball should be okay. Again, I don't think you'll take this red on. It's too close to the cushion, I would say. Needs to play that probably a little bit harder, though. No, nope, he's not going to take it on. He's not interested. But he might well play a good safety here. Good safety. Hmm, balls have split themselves a little bit, but again, I think we should just be okay. It's a risk to take on a long pot at this point for Joe Perry. Because yes, it is 2-0 up, but I think we're pretty good when we're in form. So if we can get one frame on the board, he might come to regret that. But is he going to hit the jaw? It is. The fatal kick on the draw, the middle pocket jaw, but he's got away with it. Absolutely astounding, but he hasn't, has he? Oh, has he? No, there's a gap. There is a gap for this red. Well, well. When there's a gap, there's a chance. And it's a chance we're going to take. So, take two. Got a little bit of luck with our position on the black here. But sometimes you just need that luck. Play it a bit further up the table. Gives a bit more flexibility. There's not too many opportunities down there. So, just wanted to get a bit of an overhead view. <laughs> Black will go down here. So, well worth looking at. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. And if we stay down towards the black, it's not the best, uh, not the worst way to go, is it? Be a nice amount of points in this frame. 17. Just by playing a few reds and blacks. And now it is time to open up the reds. A perfect opportunity. And if this doesn't go right, I don't know what we're here for, but that has gone nicely. It's a great chance now to go and win the frame from here. It should be one we'll take. And hopefully, this is going to be where we strike back. Because we do need a little bit of luck sometimes. Just to get us kick started. But we need to get over the line in this frame. And then as I said, worry about the next two. One by one. And then hopefully, a bit of luck on your side. And we can come back and win this 3-2. Uh, I was going to say 2-3, which I suppose it is. Just try not to think that any of these could be our last our last shot. 31. But this is the predicament we've got ourselves in, so we've got to live with it. No one to blame but our own poor play so far. Can definitely redeem that though here. Black's off limits, which is a shame. Play with a little bit less, less flexibility towards the blue, just so we avoid the, the red that was in our way. But we can just screw back onto the cushions. So that's not too much of an issue. Not quite straight on the blue, so we're going to have to come towards the bulk cushion a bit. But again, that's no problem. And we'll just focus on these reds one by one. 
preferably get bulk side this time. Not by much, but just by enough. Probably a little bit too much actually. We could well be potting this to the the uh, bottom pocket at this point. That was not the best shot in the world. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. We missed a chance like this last time, and we've done it again. I'll tell you what, that was absolutely way off. And he's missed it. I can't believe how far off we were there. Our long potting game has gone to pot. <laughs> But we've not got over the line. And I just do, know, do not know what's happened today. It's going to take a good comeback from Joe Perry to go and win this now. But it could be a possibility. I knew as soon as we started playing that shot that, well, it could be a risk. But it was a risk we just had to take. And Joe Perry, after only one pot, has missed the yellow. Joe Perry won. So again, an opportunity. And quite unbelievable that he's missed that. And we've only just potted the red, so not playing with much conviction, has to be said. Just the yellow ball required. So just the let yellow ball was needed, we've potted it. And that should be the frame. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. It's a good pot. Nice and tidy stuff. Ain't too much we can do here if we pot the black. There's not too much we can do at all, really, so... I think we'll just pot the black, and... I don't think he's going to come back to the table in this frame after this, so... Just play a bit of a double, potentially, a bit of an exhibition shot, and if it doesn't come off, he won't come back to the table anyway. Just don't go in, in off, for goodness sake. That wasn't exactly the best, was it? I'll admit that. Good snooker, though. <laughs> Got the snooker. But anyway, we're back in it. I thought we weren't there. I did panic, but... Joe Perry only managed the one pot in that frame. It was a bit poor from him. I think he'll be gutted, especially if he now goes on to lose this match, because that was not a huge chance, but certainly enough of a chance to have potentially gone and wiped us out in successive frames. But here's the situation. It's two on to Perry again. Just needs one of the next two. We need both of them. And he's missed the long pot. We left him a chance off the break off. He fancied it, as I probably would as well. But he's bottled it. So another chance for us to get a good start in this fourth frame. We've just got to take full advantage. And luckily we got away with it there because we didn't play as anywhere near as hard as we should have done. But we've still got a potting chance. Just because it hit off the reds a bit uh, better than I thought it would. So we got lucky there. Nine. I didn't think that would stick to the cushion. But I know we've got a backup plan with this red. You'll notice there's a lot of gibberish from me here. Not a lot of serious chat. And that's because you know, this is massive now. Got to focus. This is a half chance. No, not this time. And that wasn't the way to focus. Although luckily, it does brown block that red's view. It doesn't. Not good enough from us there. As soon as we played that shot onto the cushion, it went wrong. And that's how you do it. That's where the, the uh, cue ball should stay. On the cushion, along the red, gives a nice strike potting chance. So these next two shots are massive. This next shot now on the black. This is huge. And there you go. That's the split you might need. Are oh, we going to crash out of the China Open? Tough draw, but I have to say, I wouldn't expect it. Certainly wasn't at the start of the match, certainly in the former in. 
But let's see. Nothing we can do now. Just sit in our chair and hope. Nice position on the black. Fourteen. Can't see any problems here. Twenty-one. I'll tell you what, Fouls just said. He's right, and I mean in the context of the whole frame. I don't see any problem. I think the way he's playing, I think there should be more than adequate opportunity to produce a frame running break here. So this is worrying. Probably like to be a little bit further away from the black, makes it a little bit tight. But it's absolutely fine. Just means he can open up into the reds. Not the best though. And he's just going to play a potential safety, looks like. But that is not the best shot from Joe Perry. Could have played that better. Joe Perry, 35. So again, you know, I'd kind of admitted defeat there. Get back into this frame. But it was a good opportunity for Perry, which means it's a good opportunity for us. But that was not the best shot in the world. to be mindful of not under hitting this shot. Neil Robertson won. And that's what we decided to do. Obviously couldn't get on to either of the two reds that are potable, so I think that was a good shot to play given the circumstances. And that really wasn't. Joe Perry really seems to be losing his bottle here. We've got to take advantage of that now. I'd take on the black in normal play, but uh, yeah, I don't fancy that. Being 2-1 down, you know, if you miss that, that could be game over for you. So, no thank you. Just wants to sink Just going to give this a whack. Get the red moving a bit. But uh, nothing really developing, unfortunately, there. Three. In terms of that red, so that's a shame. And none of these will go. So it's just going to be one of those frames, going to be one of those uh, one of those dodgy ones, isn't it, where it's safety, safety, safety. But there's a lot of stake in this, so I was hoping for that to go behind the black, because we overhit it a bit. It uh, collided with the black, but I think we've got away with it in terms of a potting opportunity. But what sort of safety has he played here? A good one. Just going to get this red away and just play this back up uh, to the bulk. But where's it going? Nice <sighs> Nearly a fluke. And can he get to that? No, he can't. That's the even bigger fluke. Well, that looks safe to all you jammy git. One. Well, fair play to if he wins. See if he wins the match out of that. There was always a chance of knocking that in. <sighs> I thought that uh, was going in there, in off. But Joe Perry's got a chance again. You know, it's we've just not had any momentum today. Not done anything. It's not all over yet. So we've remembered when we've done our little speech going, oh, it's all over. Yep, nicely done. Could be all over now though. Joe Perry, <laughs> but we've got plenty of opportunities to try and get out of this. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace. No, nope, that's absolutely nowhere near. Didn't think it would be. He'll be disappointed with that shot, I think. Foul and a miss. So he's just going to play on from there. So not that much of a of a risk. But is he taking on the pot? I didn't think he was. Great shot. Gives us a good opportunity to. Secure this red. And hitting that blue actually isn't going to do uh, us any harm. So to stay in the China Open, we've got to win this safety exchange. You can see Joe Perry is nearly over the line. But that risk he took there hasn't paid off for him. And now we've got another chance. If ever there was a time, it was now... Well, 
Can you believe it? I don't think you can get to the red. Quite unbelievable. What a match this is turning into. But where's that cue ball going? Well, this is just unbelievable. Two pros and none of us can see to pot a ball. Surely pot it this time though. Which we have. Good pot. I think we've got to take advantage of this situation. Joe Perry's not on his best form. We're not playing well. And there have been several points in this frame that I was ready to wave the China Open goodbye. Now if I was a punter, I'd cash out now. <laughs> We've got a good opportunity from here. Just negotiate this last red. Position on the pink here. And uh, we should be in for the frame. Just play the pink. Get it on the cushion and just go for the long pot on the cushion. And as I say, if that goes right, we put ourselves with a real good chance of taking this to a decider. Not the best quality of snooker perhaps today, but... Um, you know, we, we're still in it, and that's the most important thing. But that could all be over very quickly. So, this is a big pot. But it's there. Great stuff. Just line this up nicely for the, yeah, uh, for the yellow. into the right corner. There. It's a good blue. Gave us uh, a nice chance to line up for the yellow. Just the colours remaining. Avoided the hit on the brown. That was pretty crucial. But clean these up and we're into a decider. Something that a few minutes ago I'd have begged you for. So this, blue, uh, this brown will put us back ahead. Four points ahead. Uh, sorry, four points ahead, two points ahead. So just the blue and the pink needed. And if we go and miss one of these from here, there'll be an inquest. The most standard blue and pink you'd ever imagine. And that is us down to a decider. Not the best on the black, but I'm really not bothered at all. So, this pot Just wanted to make sure that we got there. We've missed the black. As I said, I could not give a toss. Because we've got down to a decider from 2-0 down. That's massive. But we've done all that work. We've got from 2-0 to 2 each. Let's take advantage. So it's now a one-frame shootout for who's going to get into the last 16. Whoever's been drawn against us here must be rubbing their hands together, thinking, Jesus Christ, this has not been a good game of snooker at all. Joe Perry's break of 70 is by far the biggest of anything that we've seen in today's match. Nothing uh, challenging it at all. We went down to a decider against Salby, and that didn't work out. So we need to make sure we don't make the same mistakes here. But a good safety shot. Just going to put this one red into the pack. It could be a bit of a safety exchange here. That's been a close match all, all round, really. I think Joe Perry should have took his chances when he got them. But ultimately, he hasn't, so now we've got a chance, and as I said before, we need to use that, and that's a cracking safety shot. So he's, we've got the snooker on him. But, he's got out of it. So we do have a sniff, but not really any more than that. Just needs to get out of there. Pop the red and get out of there. One. And let's see. It's going to be a tough ask. 
But let's see from here if we can make this um, a uh, match-winning opportunity. Like I said it's going to be tough. I was going to go for that red, but I just don't fancy it. Going for the, left corner pocket. the one closest to the blue, that is. But that's a great pot. Simply wonderful. And that creates that red hit in the black. A little bit more room between that red and black, which is great for us. 14. Mm, that wasn't ideal. No real problem here. Do I fancy that or not? That's a poor shot. <sighs> why, 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 why did I go for it? I even said to myself beforehand, I don't like the look of that. One. It was bloody fold saying there's no problem here. It's just way off. Completely off. Should never take on anything that tight. We got the shot wrong in the first place. Anyway, we're looking to be far straighter on it. But it's not all over yet. Again, we, we've played pretty poorly today, so if we lost, I, w I wouldn't be too bothered because we don't deserve anything. But this frame can go a long way to determining whether we do or not. 16. But that is a good chance. Joe Perry, 16. But perhaps it's not now. This is just a match of ups and downs really is Joe Perry can't seem to do anything either and in a frame where one of us is going to take the onus and take uh, a bit of professionality to this hopefully it is uh, us who can do that and it's a good chance we got here you remember Joe split the reds just before he missed a shot. A pot. So that does definitely help us out. But really, when we, when we were 2-0 down, when we were saying that Joe Perry could have beat us 3-0, he should have took the opportunity then. Really should have done so. We've been given a big get-out-of-jail-free clause by actually still being in this match. This is relatively easy. So the biggest punishment for Joe Perry here is just to go, you gave us a chance. Sorry, mate, we're going to take it. And that, I think, would mean more than anything for us. More than stealing the match, more than not playing very well. It's that, it's that mentality that, you know, it's not over. Or even though we said it was. It's saying that, well, you know, we, we were 2 nil down. Should be straightforward enough. But it's not all over yet. So I'm not going to start giving... I'm terrible for this in final frame deciders. I should never do this. But whatever players on top, I'll start like talking the about them and going the well they've done brilliantly to win today's match then all of a sudden they go and lose a shot and you're going well it's all over now not really the level of control he was after there when it's not a cue ball a little. 19 yeah I agree it's not the best shot that wasn't the queuing required for this shot close but not quite and it was an all or nothing shot there that was a big risk to take we just took too too many of those liberties today, far too many. Should have had our head screwed on there. I know we haven't really all day, but there we should have done. We should have gone. Mm, we've missed a few of those today. Would it just be better to just try and play it and not worry about position? I can say all these things now, but it's a great opportunity for them to open up the reds. So he's one point behind Joe Perry, five reds left, still plenty can change, but you know, I'll be putting my money on Joe Perry ma making this a match winning clearance. Very nicely done. So I'm gonna shut up of any about any sort of match permutations at this point. I think that's a bad idea. Interesting to see what approach he takes here. He didn't really want to be straight on the black, did he? That's a great shot. 
Hmm. Bit awkward now. Yes, he'll apply this red. And then he's just going to apply the black follow through. 28. It's not really the best angle. Hmm. Let's see what he does here. 35. Now he's got the angle on the red. He's lining this up into the right middle pocket. 36. So black puts him 26 ahead. And the red will do it. But the saga continues. That is a shocker. Luckily he's not snookered himself. But he was very close to doing just that. That is a little bit of a shocker from uh, from Joe there. I'm going to try and emulate that here. I think it's a risk worth taking. And so whether he can see the red, I think he can. Brilliantly played. Yep, you can just about see it, but... Well, this is going to be fun now, isn't it? Now, the academic response here would just be to play behind the red, but what's the point in that? Get the snooker. This is an intriguing safety battle. Hmm. Definitely. Where's that cue ball? It's okay. We're not gonna go for a pot here. I think that's exactly what he wants us to do. We're just going to keep it nice and safe up there. So this, again, Joe Perry is close here. But he made the mistake on the red and now he's going to make sure and try and make sure he wins this. But he's got that wrong. It's not quite worked out. Well played. Good safety there. Again, I don't think we've got the snooker, but I don't think he's got the potting chance. No. I bring the ball back down the table then. He's hit the pink full ball. But again, I think he's just trying to tempt us into playing a long pot. No chance of that with that angle. Need some help. Need some help from the bulk colours. Hmm. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion. Nope, he's not gonna play. I don't blame him. But look at where that's gonna hit. Bang! Straight into the brown. Joe Perry, you have lost this safety battle. And now it is our mission to make sure that not Joe Perry is the man who loses this match. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. That was huge. That was a massive That's shot a for Joe. One. Looking to play this with a lot of power. No, we can't play that. Play the blue. Give us good position on the yellow as well. But I can't believe that. He was only one ball away. He mucked it up. Six. He lost the safety battle. As I've said, it's now our mission to make sure that Joe Perry rues that altogether and loses the match. As Fold says, I know he's only talking about the ball, uh, the ball in question, but he speaks wisely about it all, really. Um, it's a relatively simple chance, apart from uh, this brown, actually, which would have been pretty tricky to get position for. So it's just a, a case of uh, playing safe again. I don't think we've hit that. I hope we have. I really do. Foul. No. Could cost him. It's okay though because he's only 19 ahead. 11. So he's still got three points in the kitty. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. Try and pot it or at least get it back down the table, but we've got the pot. So we got out of that. So to win the match, arguably, is something we've been struggling at all day, which is our long pot. But 
I would say that uh, this one's just about all right. Because it's pretty straight. So the pot's there. What about position? What about position? It's okay. And in fitting fashion, this match comes down to the last black. So, just this for the frame. And unbelievably, we have come through from 2 0 down. And deservedly or not, I don't think we deserved that very much, but it was that sort of match it was going to come down to the last black. Neither player played brilliantly, but nevertheless, we have beaten Joe Perry by a scoreline of three frames to two. That stat screen is not one I particularly want to ponder on for a long time. We were lucky to get through there, but do I care? No, not really. We're through. Whether it was 3 0, 3 1, or 3 2, it doesn't matter as long as it went to our side. Not the best snooker today, but a scrappy match. And we've got through it. And now in the third round of the last 16, it's us who get through. And we play against Luca Brussel next episode. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. What a match that was. Quite unbelievable. But hopefully, the one against the Belgian ball, it will be a lot uh, more simple. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye for now.